بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خير رسل الله أجمعين هذا هو الدرس الأول لسن وان صباح الخير and uh, اقرأي يا سارة and mute yourself why do I read uh, do you see my screen yeah okay double click on it to enlarge it if it is small and then read الدرس الأول Okay. Hmm. الدرس الأول صباح الخير است... استيقظ سمير من, من نومه وقال صباح الخير يا أمي صباح الخير يا أبي أحسنت يا سارة ممتازة آدم يلا يا آدم اقرأ بال... بالماء والصابون Excellent can you say again say it again I, I couldn't hear you say غسل بال... بالماء بالماء م- والصابون ثم بد بدال ما الأبي سته ثم بدل ملابسه وما ومشى ومشاق شعره ومشط شعره and what else he did ورط ورطب سريره غسل يديه شكرا يا آدم ممتاز غسل يديه بالماء والصابون غسل يديه ووجهه بالماء والصابون ثم بدل ملابسه ومشط شعره ورتب سريره uh, للاس قرأي يا ليلاس. Uh, you, you don't like the long vowel alif, right? This is why you ignore it. We have long vowel alif after عين. ألف مد بعد حرف العين. Say it again. No, no, don't look at your mom. Look at me. Read this one here. Go ahead, say it again. أكل سمير طعام طعام الفطور ماذا أيضا ماذا فعل سمير بعد ذلك What did Samir do after that ونظف أسنانه بالفرشاي بالفرشاة المعجوني والمعجوني أحسنتي ونظف أسنانه بالفرشاة والمعجوني صوفي آخر سطرين the last two lines mute yourself and let's after you done وهي يا صوفي؟ ثم ثم حمل حقيبته ووقف ينتظر حافلات المدرسة أحسنت يا صوفي ممتازة ثم حمل حقيبته ووقف ووقف يلعب ووقف يشرب ووقف ينتظر ينتظر means if Lilas is doing something Lilas انتظري انتظري wait so ووقف ينتظر حافلة المدرسة now we're going to do something else uh, 
we're gonna replace Samir with a girl and see what a change is gonna be done or we're gonna make, okay? Um, Lilas, I mean Bara'a. Iqra'ya Bara'a. So here, uh, to have a, this is here, Salwa. We, we just replaced Samir with, replaced Samir with uh, Salwa and see what it changed we're gonna do. الدرس الأول استيل صباح الخيري اقرأي استيقظت سلوى من نومها وقالت صباح الخير يا أمي صباح الخير يا أبي غسلت يديها ووجهها غسلت يديها ووجهها بالماء والصابون أحسنتي uh, Who remember what we said about, about Samir in this, uh, in this sentence? We said here استيقظ Right? With Samir مع Samir قلنا يا للاس يا صوفي قلنا استيقظ but with Salwa, I added what? Ta sukun. With, with the Samir, I said, Istayqadha Samir. Istayqadha Nuh min naumihi. Istayqadha Tariq min naumihi. Istayqadha Abi min naumihi. Istayqadha Akhi min naumihi. But when I'm talking about a girl, I say what? Istayqadha Sufi min naumihi. استيقظت صوفي من نومه؟ نو no. من نومها قلمه أو قلمه this his pen قلمه قلمها نومه نومها okay. استيقظت سلوى من نومها وقالت مساء الخير يا أمي am I right? قالت مساء الخير يا أمي ماذا قالت ماذا قالت what, what did she say آدم وقالت صباح الخير نط مساء الخير أوكي يا سارة and then صباح الخير يا أبي آه سارة غسلت غسلت هير وي ار هير يلا يا ساره يديه يديها 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 ووجهها بالماء والصابون غسلت يديها بالماء والزيتون لا بالماء والزيتون لا بالماء وال... والليمون؟ لا <تصفيق> ماذا؟ بالماء و صابون بالماء والصابون، شكرا يا سارة. آه آدم ثم بدلت اوكي هولد اون، هولد اون، بيكوز ناو وي نيد تو توك اباوت ذيس. يو سي ذيس هير، إف أي دونت هاف ذيس إف أي دونت هاف ذيس شدة if I don't have the shadda, right? I'm gonna say what? I'm gonna say badalat. But we have shadda. So it's not badalat, it's baddalat. Baddalat. Thumma baddalat. Go ahead. Thumma baddalat. Malabisahu. Malabisaha. Malabisaha. Wamash. Wamash. ومشطت ش... شع... شعره... شعرها <تصفيق> ورتبت سريرها ممتاز يا آدم ممتاز يا آدم صوفي what else يا صوفي she did after ورتبت سريرها she fixed her bed ورتبت سريرها 
سلوى دعام الفطور أكلت سلوى طعام الغداء الغداء لانش العشاء دينر ماذا أكلت أي طعام طعام الفطور بريكفاست جو هيد يا صوفي ما شاء الله جو هيد استمري ونتفت أسنانها بالفرشاة بالفرشاة والمعجون ونظفت أسنانها بالفرشاة والمعجون أحسنت يا صوفي ما شاء الله للاس ثم حملت حقبتها حقبتها ووقفت تنتظر تنتظر حافلة المدرسة Just go to the link I shared now Okay, so now this is الدرس الأول صباح الخير. I'm gonna change now. What you're gonna see is this question. And أشطب الكلمات. When you go to yours, you're gonna see this, right? It said أشطب الكلمات التي لا تعرف معناها. The word you don't know its meaning. Cross it or make a line on it. You can choose highlight. Like I'm doing here, or you can choose like uh, uh, the pen, whatever you want. So please do. You have any word? Re try to read it. Anyone you don't know the meaning, cross it so I know which one you don't know the meaning. You have a few. Uh, okay, now I'm going to see the answers here. Let's see. Uh, so I have here, this is what everyone did. Okay, we don't know istayqadat. Who knows what is istayqadat? Sarah, what is istayqadat? What does istayqadat mean? I don't know. Istayqadat sara min al-nawm. Istayqadat sara min al-nawm. Namat sara. Nama. Istayqadha. Wake up, right? Wake up. So, nama yanamu yastayqidhu. So, istayqadat means wake up. Uh, and we have in this one, we have for share, the one who crossed for share, wajhi ta'am. You don't know the meaning of this ones? For share, ma ma'ana for share? For share. Toothbrush? Yes. And mishto, mishto. Oh, this is good. I like life. Uh-huh. 
What is misht? We're gonna know. We're gonna hide now, and I'm gonna go to the second one. Some of this will be revealed in the second next one. The second one, here I said, أي جملة أي جملة تعبر عن الصورة. Which sentence represent the picture? Represents the picture. So just put the circle. I'm gonna see here. You have this cat or this whatever. Put it. And the sentence you said it's represent the surah, the the picture. You have uh, ten seconds. Mm -hmm. So, sabah al khairi, masa al khair. This picture, we say sabah al khair or masa al khair. Okay, now yeah, let's see. Yeah. Naam? Um, so when I'm trying to follow you guys, it just won't let me change. It just won't let me go into another page. It just keeps on, it doesn't let me go on the second page or third page. Or no, just you guys click, are. just click. Click click on the on the slide, it will take you to another one. Just to click. I tried, but it won't work. Okay, uh, it doesn't work for all of you or for just for Lilas? Huh. When you click, click here, look here. When I change, because now I see it as a student, right? This is what the teacher show me. If I change the slide to another one, so and I go to the student view, it already automatically changed. So it should be working with you, Lilas. I don't know what you, what you are using or. So I use to abir an al jumla al ati. I want to put the circle in the right on the right sura. Uh, read it, Yalilas. Lilas, iqra'i. Salwa. Salwa. Sak. Salwa. Sak. Salwa sak. Waqafat. 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 Then. Okay, yes, unless I have to pause with you because it's too much noise in your background. I we can't continue like this. Uh, please, unless try to have like quiet background. It's really affecting the whole class. Okay, Sufi, go ahead, yeah, Sufi. Um, I have a question. Go ahead. Um, can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, very quick. You have three seconds. Three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, Baraa, iqra'i ya Baraa. Baraa, iqra'i. Salwa waqafat tantadhir hafilat al madrasa. So now after I read this, whatever you understand from this phrase or this sentence, you have to put the circle on the picture represent what you represent what you read. So it's for you. Let's see here the answers. Uh huh. Yeah, try try change the circle. Move the circle so. Put the circle in the right, in the correct area, in the correct picture. Salwa is a girl name. Waqafat. Waqafat. Tantadhiru hafilat al-madrasa. Which one represents it? Okay, 10 seconds. I already put it down like five times already, so. So let's get the. So who's playing with the uh, Adam? Put it here, Adam. So all of you would choose the correct picture. Yes. Salwa. If I say Salwa waqafat, just Salwa waqafat, I'm gonna choose number this one. If I say Salwa waqafat, I'm gonna choose this one. Salwa stood. But when I say waqafat tantadhiru, waiting hafilat al madrasa, it should be this one. 
I'm going to switch now to another one. This one, you have to make a line. I was on the screen here. So I have this uh, uh, line tool or pencil. Uh, I can make a line between the word and the picture. So the first one, hafila, which should I go? Hafila, where is hafila? Try to find it and connect it. Uh -huh. We have hafila, bus. Haqiba, asnan, wajh, sabun. Wajh, sabun. Ya Lilas. Okay. Raise your hand if you're done. No, I was um so well mm -hmm. we're trying to get in an account, but then it just is re remaking me do different account like remaking me do accounts. No, we don't. We're not talking about accounts now, Yalilas. When you click on the last link I give you, it takes you to, to page to put the code. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, look, look at look at the last link I shared in the chat box here. It's this one. The link at eleven thirty seven. This is a link I shared. Click on it and put the A. I mean the W W B N U. The code. You should be able to join without any, uh, like, login or anything. Okay. Okay. Now let's go to C. <laughs> MashaAllah. You think it's, uh, I can't see who did uh, what? No, I can't see because I have here the student view. I can. Uh, no. And this is here. And someone didn't do it. This is me in the middle because I opened it also as a student. Okay, I see Asnan, Haqiba, Sabun, Hafila. MashaAllah, all of you, you did excellent. MashaAllah. Okay. Here, Iqra, Iqra, Ya Adam. Iqra, Hal Hadihi, Hal Hadihi, Al Jum, Al Jumlatu, Sau. Sawabun. And here the Tahas Fatha, I'm sorry, the Tahas Fatha, not Shadda. Hotun. Am Hotun. Hell, Hadi Hil Jumla is this sentence. Sawab, Am Hotta. True or false? True or false. Uh, yeah. Akala? Samirun. Ta'ama. Faturi. Aha. One of the Fa, Nazafa, as a snahu bill for for shatti. Well, Majuni Akala Samirun, Taam al Fatur, one of the as nanahu bill for shatti. Well, Majun, just move the circle to the correct, uh, I mean, uh, the correct area. Is it so? The flag, yeah, move the flag to the correct. Place is it sawab? Put it here. If it's wrong, put it here. I already put my answer first. Okay, good, good, huh? Uh, Lilas, is it working now for you, Lilas? Inshallah, yes. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Uh, put the flag. Put the flag. I said, is this is this uh, statement true mm -hmm. or false? Akala samirun taam al fatur wa nazafa asnanahu bil furshati wal majun. Is this correct? Is this true or false? If this false, put it here, the flag here. If it's correct, put the flag here. Uh -huh. I'm done putting flags. Okay. Uh -huh. I know this is just because the first time you like, but after that, going to be easy using the, the this, um, way to make sure you get you are engaged in the in the lesson okay so all of us now let's see 
I see, mashallah, all of us put it uh, sawab and one put it in the wrong. Uh, I put the flag wrong. Um, now it changed it. <laughs> okay. Naam. هذه الجملة هذه الجملة هذه هذه الجملة صحيحة صواب سمير أكل طعام الفطور ونظف أسنانه بالفرشاة والمعجون. Yes, it's correct, right? The second one on the next one. Uh, اقرأي يا صوفي. اقرأي. ها huh, go ahead. استيقظ سمير من من عمه عمه من نومه من بيته عمه his uncle نومه is sleeping بيته his home so which one uh, put put the circle in the right place which one is the correct answer okay you have You have 15 seconds. It's easy for you. I have very smart students, I'm sure. So go ahead. Liles. Estaykada Samirun min naumihi. Samir wake up from Ammihi. Naumihi. Baitihi. Naumihi. Uh, put the circle in the right answer. Uh -huh. The circle here, move it to the right. If you think it's the right, correct one, put it here or here or here. Um, five seconds left. Five seconds. I'm going to show answers in three, two. Okay. So uh, please don't move it. Put the circle here, Adam, and don't move it. Adam, leave the circle. Choose one and don't move it, ya Adam. So we have Naumihi. Istayqada Samir from his home? No, from his sleeping. Istayqada Samirun min Naumihi. Right? So the correct answer is number two. Istayqada Samirun min Naumihi. Okay, number eight. Uh, Adam, Adam, don't don't click on the too much. Okay. Ghas. Mm -hmm. So was sabun, wal majun, wal laymun. So put the circle in the correct answer. You have five seconds. This is easy. Huh. Five um, seconds. غسل يديه ووجهه بالماء والصابون المعجون الليمون. Um. What do you think? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Don't ask your parents. This is for you. Do your best. It's okay if you choose the wrong answer or if you choose an answer and it's wrong. So let's uh, try. So, غسل يديه ووجهه بالماء three seconds to uh -huh. and let's see the answers uh asabun ghasal yadayhi wa wajhahu bil ma'i wal ma'jun he washed his hands and his face with uh, uh toothpaste which is number two no it should be number one <laughs> okay so all of us are number one after that number nine baddala samirun malabisahu wa mashata Okay, go ahead. Baddala. Baddala. 
baddala when you change baddala samirun malabisahu wa mashata wa mashata and please when you use the, your answer ya adam or anyone don't change it when i show students answer don't change it just leave it okay uh, three seconds, two, ثلاثة, اثنان, واحد. Yes, شعره, شعره. Don't move it, يا آدم. <laughs> شعره. عشرة. Yeah. Read, يا آدم. اقرأ, يا آدم, uh, الجملة الأولى. The first sentence, اقرأ. سمير. Um, سمير يك... Yakulus Tama and Fat Fatuni Samirun Yakulu Tama al Fatur. This is number one. Let's see number two. Ya Sarah al Sheikh. Shukran ya Adam. I don't understand what I should do on this one. Yeah, I'm going to tell you in a second. Ekra ya Sarah. Samirun Yakiana Mufi. سمير ينام في سريره ممتازة يا سارة آه للاس اقرأي الجملة الأخيرة the last uh, uh, statement or جملة للاس سمير ينطق ينتظر حافلة حافلة المدرسة ممتازة So we have now سمير يأكل طعام الفطور سمير ينام في سريره سمير ينتظر حافلة المدرسة Which one of these statements represent the picture? Represents the picture. Which one? I want to put the circle in what, what phrase? What statement? What you see in the picture? Which one represent what you see? You have seven seconds. Seven, seven. seconds. You have seven ah. seconds. Seven. No, no, don't, don't. <laughs> Just put your answer. That's it. Huh? Okay, two seconds. Okay, you done? Okay. Okay, show answers. I don't know why always one one is waiting. I don't know why. Please do your uh, put your uh, when you choose your answer. When I show when I show answers, don't change it. Baraa, Sara, Sufi, Adam, Lilas. When you choose your answer, after you see the answer, don't change it. Okay, I'm gonna show it again. So one choose Samirun yaakulu ta'am al fatur. Samir is eating his breakfast. How? No. Samir is sleeping in his bed. Um, we're going to take 10 minutes break and then we're going to continue, inshallah. 10 minutes break. I'm going to mute. Um, I'm going to turn my camera off and mute myself. At 12, 10, inshallah, we're going to continue. If you want to drink water, anything, you can go. And we're going to, inshallah, continue at 12, 10, exactly, sharp. Assalamu alaikum. We're going to start now. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sufi, Adam, Lilas, Baraa, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, inshallah, we're going to continue. 
Okay, you're still on the site I shared with you, which is this one, right? Let me share my screen. Um, Sheikh Adel. Naam. What happened to the other class? What happened to what? the rest of the class? Uh, uh, some of them I moved them to another another um, another level, and some of them are behind. So this is going to be our class, inshallah, five until now. You sad oh, for that? Okay. Are you sad for that? <laughs> uh, I'm a little happy that I'm not in the lower grade. No, we have here like it's this is a good number. Then when five students, you're gonna have like actually See five there? to ten. This yeah, five to ten. This is a maximum. This is I don't put more, but this is good so you can interact better than faster. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we are in this one. We choose. Let me see the response here. Responses. Uh, we said Samirun Yanamu fi Saririhi. Okay, Baraa. I have big eyes, yeah, but I can't see you. Come here. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, here, I'm sorry. Ursum, not Ersim. Ursum, this is Dhamma on the Aleph, not Fatha, not Kasra. Ursum Khattan, write a line or draw a line between the picture and the phrase, the sentence, the statement. Uh, Sarah, I'm going to read the first one. Akhraya Sarah, the first one. Okay, I will. Call it. Call it. Call it. Okay, the second one. Shukran ya Sara. Uh, Sufi. A steak that. Salwa. Min naumiha. Istayqadat salwa min naumiha. Shukran ya Sufi. Adam, read the third one. Al jumla al thalitha. Yalla ya Adam, unmute yourself and read. أكلت سال 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 الجمل الأخيرة. غسلت سلوى وجهها. I want you to make a line between the picture and the correct statement, the correct sentence. You have five seconds. خمسة خمسة ثواني. خمسة. أربعة. ثلاثة اثنان واحد Okay, please don't write anything now. Don't touch anything. Don't change anything. Uh, all of you now dead. Let's see here. ما شاء الله good. Yes. أكلت سلوى طعام الفطوري And this one متى تنظف if I'm talking to Adam I'm gonna ask him this way Adam متى تنظف أسنانك if I'm talking to the rest of you to Banat to the girls I'm gonna say متى تنظفين أسنانك whatever I'm talking to a boy متى تنظف or to a girl متى تنظفين أسنانك when do you ها brush your teeth when you do this بعد النوم بعد الأكل قبل النوم بعد الأكل وقبل النوم so 
do your answer show your answer here when i come here you have this cat or whatever this one put it in the right answer and you have khamsu thawani five seconds no help don't don't ask your mom or your dad this for you it's okay if you do a mistake this is why we are here right uh-huh Liles okay we're gonna see it now so I want to hear Liles yeah Liles mm -hmm. uh, when do you brush your teeth بعد الأكل after we eat وقبل النوم and before النوم uh, if you disagree with the last raise your hand okay if you agree you raise your hand oh you disagree with her okay I Sarah Sarah Sheikh okay Mama yeah Sarah what class, do you think yeah Sarah we're put in another class have the huh Sarah Yes. Do you agree with Lilas? Yes. And Sufi. Yeah. You know what? Uh now before you go to bed. Yes, it's correct. I can put it here. Bad al act, yes, it's correct. But the best one is what? After eating and before sleeping, right? So this is the best answer. Let's see. Uh, here, who is moving his cat? <laughs> okay. اقرأ يا آدم. اختر ما تعبر عنه الصورة. Choose what the picture represents. So we have واحد and اثنان. What What do you think? Um. استيقظ استيقظ سمير بن بنومه من نومه من نومه استيقظت فاطمة من نومها so you have all of you five seconds خمسة أربعة ثلاثة اثنان one watermelon's bothering you, umbrellas. One. So it's what? Oh, you didn't do it yet. Uh, I did Put it. Put it in there. Okay. I did it. So smart. Okay. It is number two, not number one. Fatima is taykavat. Okay. Now, when you come to this one, Ana urati bu sariri. I want you to type the, uh, the English meaning, translate into English. What does it mean? Ana urattibu sariri. Ana, I know Ana is easy. Sariri, my bed. What is urattibu? Ana, mm, 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 my bed. What is urattibu? I organize my bed. Write your answer. Don't say it. I already said Type your, type, type it. Sheikh. Naam. Why is my why is my video turned off? I don't know. Turn it on. Um hold on. I'm done now. Go ahead, Elias. Unmute yourself, Elias, and turn your your camera on, your video on. So Anna Urati Busariri means uh huh means what does it mean let's see uh, someone said anna uh, i organize my bed i make my bed i do my bed i someone said Zzz. i don't like that if you don't know the answer don't type anything it means i organize my bed i i make my bed or i fix my bed okay see how smart i am so this one 
يمشط شعره يمشط شعره which one is يمشط شعره um i know which one it is I think. no 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 don't say ya adam just do answer for the circle يمشط شعره يلا يا ادم Good, yeah, Lilas. Now I see Lilas. Mm -hmm. I'm circling it. Okay. Yumashitu Sharahu. Which one is Yumashitu Sharahu? You done, all of you? So this one, I will get the name in a second. Yeah. Yumashitu Sharahu. Name is Adam, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's Yumashitu Shara who means comb his hair is number three, this one. You're right. And this one, Baddala Samirun Malabisa who what does it mean? Don't know. Don't say it. Write the answer. Type the answer. You have ten seconds. Yalla uh... Lilas. بدل سمير ملابسه. I know ملابسه is clothes and سمير this is a boy name. بدل what is بدل؟ أها. Type your answer here. You have let's say ten seconds. Lilas. Okay, I'm going to show the answers in a second. Okay, we have Samir changed his clothes. Yes, okay. Samir put the clothes on. Yes, but baddala means when you change. Baddala. Right? Change something, right? Baddala. Uh, okay, good. Put, puts, uh, change. Yeah. Change. This is the best one. And then number 16, we have two more. Ma'junu al-asnan. Ma'junu al-asnan. What does it mean? Ma'junu al-asnan. Write the meaning in English. If there's English mistake in the uh, in the writing, it's okay. I just need to understand. You understand. You, you know the meaning. Even there is a typo in your answer. It's okay. Yalla lilas. Ya Sufi. And I don't see smiley faces. What does it mean? It means we are busy? <laughs> I, I know the ways of the people. Yalla ya Adamu. I have finished. Okay. Ma'ajun al-asnan. What is ma'ajun al-asnan ya Sufi? Hey, Sheikh Adil. What ya Adam? Um, I walked, me and my dad walked about two miles today. Yay, mashallah. Mashallah, good. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, so, ma'ajun al-asnan. Ma'ajun al-asnan. What does mean ma'ajun al-asnan, ya Sufi? No. I don't know. Okay. نظف أسنانه to clean to brush your teeth we use معجون أسنان ها who knows معجون الأسنان okay this is for شات الأسنان toothpaste right this is معجون الأسنان طيب نرى الآن الإجابة الإجابة yes toothpaste good good الآن نذهب إلى آخر واحد. I want you to tell me some nouns, verbs, actions we did and we 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 mentioned in the in Samir and Salwa. I am feeling very skippish. Nouns like what? Samir. Who knows another noun? Give me another noun. No, just just answer this. Don't write anything. What nouns do we have in the in the 
in the paragraph we read ya bara'a lilas sufi we have samir salwa what else furshat wa asnan ha what ya bara'a ma'jun wa asnan what about the verb ya lilas verbs like actions قال استيقظ أكل بدل حمل and حروف الجر or preposition like what وقف ينتظر woke up yes woke up so said good morning غسل ate breakfast yes okay ah wait for the I can't we're gonna continue with this one inshallah uh we done with this one. Uh, it was fun, I guess. And then I have all your answers. I'm just going to close it. Uh, hold on. I'm going to close this in this one now. Okay, and it's saved. I know also exactly what is your answer. Now what we're going to do is something very important. And this is for uh, Quran class. And also it's very important for Arabi. We mentioned it last week, so this is regarding mm -hmm. the Quran. We said Quran today, gonna be just uh, studying this rule because it's very important. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna uh, tell you the last uh, five minutes about I have the what... same paper. Excellent, yay. So uh, this is this is from the book, I'm, uh, the curriculum I'm making for reading and writing. Uh, and this page number 186, we have something called Hamzatul Wasl. Hamza to Al-Wasl. Ustad Adil, this is, looks like Alif. Why you say Hamza? Yeah, this is how we call it. If I say Alif Al-Wasl or Hamza to Al-Wasl, both are correct. Okay, Adam? Okay. Okay. So, what is Hamza to Al-Wasl, Ya Bara'a? Hamza to Al-Wasl is an Alif like this. Has head of the letter Saad. So, I call it Hamza to Wasl. Al-Wasl or Alif Al-Wasl. Sometimes we call it Alif Al-Wasl. So whatever we call it, Hamza Al-Wasl or Alif Al-Wasl, you know, we are referring to the same, the, the same thing. Hamza Al-Wasl or Ali Alif Al-Wasl. Okay? So what is Hamza Al-Wasl or Alif Al-Wasl? Alif has head of the letter Saad. That's it. Okay, Alas, what do you want to say? Um, well, I remember we learned this in second grade. So I think we should know it, but we should still be aware. Yeah, this is just, we didn't, we didn't go to the main thing. There's something new, you're going to learn it in a few seconds. But it's good you still remember, mashallah. So here, yeah, Bara'a. Pay attention here, Bara'a. Come close to your uh, computer. Don't go back. Bara'a. So this is Alif al-Wasl or Hamza al-Wasl. What about it? In Arabic, in our book, in any Arabic book, when we write it, I write it without this head of the letter Saad. We do it like this in Quran. But in Arabic book, I write it like this. So how I know this is Alif al-Wasl or not? Number one, it comes at the beginning of a word. When I say Alhamdu. Alhamdulillah. Is this Alif al -wasl? Yes. How do you know? Because the first word of the, the first letter of the of the word. Right? When I say Qala, is this Alif al -wasl? Is this Alif al -wasl? No. This long vowel Alif, this Alif Mad. So what is the difference? Alif al -wasl should be at the beginning only. So how I know Alif al-Wasl? It comes first. Okay. Now, when I have... I'm sorry. Look here, Adam. Alif al-Wasl, sometimes I read it as A with Fatha or U with Dhamma or E with Kasra. 
when do you read as Fatha? I want you to pay attention now, Ya Adam. Everyone, pay attention, please. This is very important. This is Arabic and the Quran. This is this rule is very important in Quran and in Arabic too. So when I have Alif has nothing at the beginning, followed by Lam, you must read with Fatha. You must or you have to read it with a Fatha. You say Al Kitabu Al Kitabu As Saqfu Al Baqaratu Waya Sufi. Why do we read this Alif with Fatha? Because Ustaz Adil told us if I see Alif at the beginning followed by Lam, this Alif should be read with Fatha. A. Allah, Alhamdu, Al Rahman, Al Walad, Al Madrasa. Right? So if I start with Alif followed by Lam, the Alif should be with Fatha. Okay. What if I have here Alif has nothing at the beginning? Should I say Aktub? Write this one here. I want to tell Adam now, yeah, Adam, write. What I'm saying now, write it. So should I say Adam, Uktub? Or Aktub? Or Iktub? Iktub or Aktub? Which one? Uktub. Uktub, yes, this is good. Why we can't say a? Eh? No, we say we choose a eh if alif followed by lam. Do you see lam after alif ya, ya Sarah? No, it's kaf. So I can't say, I can't say what? I can't say a. Eh. Okay. Should I say u or e? E. Should I say iktub, iktub or uktub? What do you think, ya Sufi? I think it's Yes, I'm going to say Uktub. You know why? Why? The rule is you have to look at the third letter. The third letter. What is the third letter here, Yalilas? Wahid. Ithnan, thalatha. The third letter has, uh, is ta, has Dhamma. If the third letter has Dhamma, I say U. <laughs> Again, Ya Adam, Ya Sarah, Bara'a, Yalilas. If the third letter has Dhamma, I say U. Uktub. <laughs> Okay, if the third letter has Kasra or Fatha, I say E. So I say Ihdina, Ihdina, because the third letter has Kasra. If the third letter has Fatha or Kasra, Adam, I say E, Ihdina. إِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ So I say what? E. If the third letter has Kasra. Ustad Adil, what if the third letter has Fatha? Should I say A? No. Because remember, the Fatha already taken by Alif when it followed by Lam. So if the third letter has Fatha or Kasra, I say E. Okay? So this here, the first thing in your homework. What are you going to do? Uh, Sufi, print yeah. that right here, Sufi. What you gonna do? The first thing in this homework, you're gonna do this. You're gonna come here to um, get attention, any less. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to the first letter. The first letter in each word has nothing above or underneath it. So, I want you. To write, what should we put? Fatha, Kasra, or Dhamma? Let's start with the first one with um, Sarah. The first one here. Should I say, U unzuru? Let me make it bigger so you can see. See number one here, yeah, Sarah. Yes. Okay. Uh, here, al harf al awal, the first letter has nothing. Now, what should I do? Say u, a, e. Should I say, yeah, Adam, put whatever in your hands down, put it down, and pay attention to me. Uh, 
I'm going to ask you next. So here, what should I put on the first letter? I don't know. But Ustad Adil told me just to go to the third letter. Alif is number one. Noon is number two. The third letter is what? Dha. The third letter has what? Has Dhamma. So I say U. So what I want you to do is just put Dhamma or Fatha or Kasra on the first letter. So you're going to print it and you're going to put the vowel, whatever you, you think it is uh, the right one. After you do this with all this uh, vocabulary, you scan it and send it to Google Classroom. Where is Google Classroom here? Um, let me show you. When I go to, yes, this one, no. Let me open you one very quick. Google Classroom, this one, and Ta'allam. So Ta'allam, Ta'allam, here. When I click here, you're going to see the classwork. This is the first thing, right? When you click on it, when you click on it, you're going to see, oh, I didn't put it yet. Oh, I'm going to do it in a second. Yeah, here. See the, the homework number one? You're going to put the suitable vowel on the first letter of each word in page number 186. Where is this page, Yasara? Oh, here. This page, 186. Yeah, this page. Right? So you're going to put the vowel on the first letter. And after you do this, the whole thing, the whole page, you're going to record it. You're going to start reading it. So you're going to say, Unzuru, Ihmil, Ihdim, Uskuti. I want to hear the first letter with A, E, or U. Okay? So this is the first thing. How do I know? What should I put? Fatha, Kasra, or Dhamma? As I said here, last, it's easy. All you need to do is look at the third letter. This is the key word, or this is the key answer here. The third letter. What is the third letter? It's the dha. Dha. The first letter here is dha. The first letter here is jim. The first one here is what? Kaf with Dhamma. And after you choose the first letter, the third letter, see what does it have? It has what? It has Fatha. If it has Dhamma, I say U. If it has Kasra, I say E. If it has Dhamma, I say U. You got it? Any sual, any question? Any sual, any question regarding this point? Type. Alhamdulillah. I'm not going to read it. Um, yeah, Adam, don't write anything, yeah, Adam. And Adam, and then you have this one the same. I will not answer it or say it. I want to hear you. The only thing is, I'm going to ask now, Adam now for this one. Number 13, yeah, Adam, can you do it for me? Yeah, Adam. Thirteen. Yeah, this is 13 here, this one. Can you read it for me? And before you read it, tell me, think with me, think loud with me. Uh, what should I put above this alif? Fatha, Kasra, or Dhamma? We have here this alif, right? And this alif has no Fatha, no Kasra, no Dhamma. So, how are you going to read it? Al. So I read with Fatha. Should I look at the third letter? No. Ustad Adil told us if the second letter is Lam, just put Fatha without looking at the third letter. If the second letter is Lam, put Fatha. Right? We apply. We look at the third letter if it has Dhamma or Kasra or Fatha. But if the second letter is Lam, we just put Fatha. So this is the first thing. Again. This one here is like uh, 45 words. I want you to read, to put the vowel on, on the first letter and then scan it, send it as attachment to the homework I did in Google Classroom. This is number one. After you do this, after you put the vowel and, and after you print it, scan it, uh, uh, put the vowels, scan it, then you have to 
attach it, send it back to me as a picture or, or PDF. Number two, you have to record it. So I'm going to have record it with a clear voice, no noise in the background so I can hear you. And then, and then you start what? You start saying it. Unzuru, irji'u, uskuti, right? And so on. We're going to read from uh, 16 to 30. Let's do this. We're going to start with Bara'a. Here you are, Bara'a. We're going to read from uh, 16 to 30. Yalla, go ahead, ya Bara'a, number one. And all of you pay attention. Yalla, ya Bara'a. And mute yourself, ya Bara'a. Aqra'i. Yeah, I see E. Yeah, I say E. Why E? The third letter has Fatha. No, if the third letter has Fatha. If the third letter has Fatha. Or Kesra, I will say E. Again, how do you know this? When you go to the first page, we mention all of this. The first page here, we said, we say E if the third letter has Fatha or Dhamma. I'm sorry. If the third letter has um, has uh, Fatha or Kasra, we're going to change this to Fatha or Kasra. So this one here, typo here, I need to change it. This one, this one you're going to make it Kasra or Fatha. Okay, uh, Sufi? So here, when you go here, this is not, uh, change it, cross it, and write here, Kasra. 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 So if the third letter has Kasra or Fatha, I say E. Ihdina Ishrab. If the third letter has Fatha or Kasra, I say E. If the third letter has Dhamma, I say O. Any question? Any question? Let's do it very quick. I'm going to read it and then you're going to, because you're going to record it. So, 16. E. In Talik. In Tazir. Al Biladu. No. Wrong Ustad Adil. You said it wrong. Lila said. Lila said. You read this one wrong Ustad Adil. You said A. You said Al Biladu. It's wrong. You said A. Al Biladu. Wrong. The third letter here is B. It has Kasra. And you said, if the third letter has kasra, say E. No. I said, if the third, if the second letter has, has, has lamb, put fatha. We look at the third letter if the second one is not lamb. Right? So I say, al-biladu. Ya'tada. Ya'tada. Istatama Istasqa Istagfiru Istagfiru Is it Urkud or Irkud? U or E? What do you think? Number 23. What was the answer? Yala Sara, number 23. Ooh, Mumtaza, mashallah. The third letter is Dhamma, so I should say U, Urqud. Okay, Lilas, number 24. Should I say Ishrahi, Ashrahi, Ushrahi? What do you think? No, no, not your mom. No, no. I will not give you any credit for this because you ask your mom. No. No, I didn't ask my mom. I forgot okay, to go ahead then. I told you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, go ahead, huh? Ishrahi? Yes, E. I say E. Why is that added? The third, the third letter has Fatha. The third letter has Fatha. It should be A. No. If the third letter has Fatha, Fatha or Kasra, I say E. Ishrahi. 
mute yourself here, Elias. And then let's go to Adam. 25, yeah, Adam. Yeah, Adam, 25, huh? Yalla, Adam. So I say, I'm gonna make it bigger, and this is the last, the last one for this. Okay, how I read the, the alif? Tell me. Should I say, what do you think? Uh -huh. Who knows? What should I put above the alif here? Tara? Sarah? Huh? Oh, yes, I should say oh. Why? Because the third letter A has Dhamma. So I say oh, Qu'udu. Ustad Adla, I have a question. Why you put this alif with a gray color? Because we don't read it. I don't say Uqudu wa no, right? We don't read. I say Uqudu. The last letter we read is long vowel wow. Uqudu or actually the dal with long vowel wow. We don't read this alif. Uh, that's enough for Arabic today. You can go yes, Sarah if you want. And I'm gonna share in Google Classroom the the. Um, oh, let me talk. Oh, hold on, yes, sir. Uh, also about Google Classroom, I'm gonna show you. Wait. Uh, I made this uh, assignment for you. Due day is Saturday, June 20, right? When I click save here. Okay. Now, this is your Google Classroom. When you click on classwork, you're going to see here homework. When you click on it, you're going to see something like add, like... Uh, audio or add like PDF or whatever, you can send it as a reply to this. What I did here, copy page one from Ta'allam, listen one reading, which is this one. When you click on this page, I click on it. So this is here. You're gonna copy the first page, copy it. And the second one, you're gonna record it. So you have here, the one with Samir, you're gonna copy it with nice handwriting with vowels in your journal and then scan it or any any uh, line paper and then scan it and send it to me. And in page number two, you're gonna record it. Okay, so Ustad Adil. Some of you will say, oh Ustad Adil, when I click on it, it, does, it didn't open or it doesn't open. What you have to do is right click, right click, don't click on it, right click and open link in new tab, new tab. So now, you, you have this this arrow, you can download it. Okay. Uh, so number one, copy page number one from this file about Samir and record page number two about Salwa. So this is one and the two. Number three, about what? Hamzatul Wasl. After you print page number 186, you're gonna put the vowel on the first letter and then you're gonna record it. Ustad Adil, this is too much homework. Who said that? Someone will say this is too much homework. No, it's not too much homework. You know why? Because you have until Saturday. Until Saturday. And we have to achieve our goal, our objectives, right? We just not, don't spend time. I'm sure, inshallah, in few, in a very, very short time, we're going to have, like, uh, most of you now, uh, excellent Arab, inshallah. Any question regarding the homework?